this hurt my heart. I can share with you all. When I started looking at what is the, what are some of the root causes for our sons being disconnected, not really sure what a man is like, the research really bore out three things, a little bit more. But really, I'm looking at. I talked about the female populated schools, the feminist movement. The things they started in terms of challenging parents on how to raise their children, how not to, uh, uh, not to hold on to the things that used to be uniquely male, how not to, uh, 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 to look at the fact that boys are distinctly different from girls. Boys shouldn't be asked to do the same thing that girls do. They think differently, they're created differently, they're made differently. Did you all know? Did you know that developmentally speaking, that girls develop their verbal skills a lot quicker than boys? And sometimes, some of you wives who are here know that we really don't ever catch up, do we? <laughs> when we come into the house, what do men generally want to do? We want to wind down. We don't necessarily want to start talking immediately. However, verbally speaking, women Young girls develop those verbal skills a lot quicker. So what happens to young boys in the educational environment and in our homes? They're asked to talk a lot. They're asked, what are you thinking? Tell me how was your day? What's wrong? And boys are kind of shutting down at that point. And we don't always understand that. So that information was real key. The feminist movement fought that kind of research. But when we started getting uh, uh, the, the high brain scans, the PET scans, being able to do brain research, we were able to scientifically prove that boys are biologically and physically a little bit different than girls, uniquely. And then we had the unisex agenda that was really pushed on us by Phil Donahue and his wife, Marlo Thomas. Remember those two? They began to talk to us about unisex. They began, that's when that word really came onto the scene. And now unisex is really the buzzword for gender blending. That's why it's okay to see girls look like boys. Why it's okay to see girls look like I mean, we just kind of blend the genders. And then lastly, <clears throat> homosexuality, same sex. These are the things that our sons are struggling with, and we're wondering why they lose their identity and what a real man looks like. When the feminists are giving them one sign, when the unisex movement is giving them another sign, when the homosexuals are giving them another sign, when all of this stuff is going on, and then, and then I'll add one other thing too. When boys are taught through all kinds of different mediums that they should lean towards this hypersexuality mentality. It's through their music, it's in their magazines, it's in their movies. 